Okay, this is the biggest stove. The one that's bigger than the stumpy. It's like twice as big. The uh, inside diameter is three quarter inch and it's burning carbon felt wick. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a look to see what it looks like when it's burning. It burns a lot bluer than the uh, fiberglass wick does. I think it has a lot less impurities in it. I don't know, maybe it's just a different animal altogether. I'm not sure, but I really like the way it burns. And you can run it out of alcohol a hundred times. It doesn't seem to make any difference to it one way or the other. It has no effect on it whatsoever, unlike the fiberglass. I'm, I'm very impressed with this material. And I think this pot and this stove is about as big as I'm going to go because this is about all the Foster's pot can handle. You can see by the ball right here that the water is trying to jump right out of the pot. And I'm getting a little bit of heat up the sides and you can actually put your hand out a ways and feel the heat way out here. So that's about as hot as you want to go for a honey pot. It's probably a little bit wasteful if anything. You keep the wick down low it'll be alright. But I think now I'm going to try to take the uh, carbon felt and maybe insulate the pot or make a windscreen out of it as some of the guys have suggested and, and go that way and try to make this more efficient. I, I don't think I'm going to go any bigger with these stoves. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. They're more important than anything. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, also, I wanted to show you something else. Uh, this is also quite a bit easier to put out than the fiberglass wick was. I, I know this because you don't get any smoldering embers when you blow it out or what, but uh, what's this? There you go. I'm Tinny. Have a great day. Bye-bye.